Welcome to Electrical U, and today we're going to be battling it out with these two inexpensive 3-in-1 meters. First up, we have the Finerci 2C53T. Now, if you haven't seen that full review I did on that meter, check that out right here. We're going to be comparing it to the Gocha Fix. With that said, let's head on over to the workbench. Okay, we made it over to the workbench. As you can see, the Gocha Fix is much, much larger in size. This is gonna provide a little bit more area to grip onto. The buttons are also very much larger, as you can see. The Finerci is a little bit smaller. If you want something more compact, that might be the way to go. But if you're looking for a more rough and tough, something to bring around the job site, something you can see, maybe even more in the dark, the Gocha Fix is gonna provide that for you. Okay, it's next, I'll just very quickly go over the accessories that each meter comes with. I've gone over this in the other video, but the Finerci is going to come with this nice hard case here. It does open up. It's got a spot for the meter there for your book and some of your accessories, your charging cable slash computer hookup. Over here on the right side, it's got a nice pouch that you can put all your cables in. Now, they're both very similar in the accessories that you come with. The Finerci, of course, comes with your standard red meter leads. It's also got in this uh, mess of a bundle I have here, it's got a couple of 10 to 1 O-scope leads with the clip. Okay, of course, both meters are going to come with the standard meter leads. You got your red and black with your plugins right there. The Finerci also comes with a couple of these 10 to 1 scope leads. Now, the ends of these are spring-loaded for circuit insertion. It does come with the ground cable you can plug in for some of the higher frequencies. The Finerci also comes with a one-to-one -one, uh, probe. This is also useful for the signal generator input right here. Now, real quick on the Gucci Fix, it does come with a soft bag. You're, you're probably going to want to also pick up a little kit, something to hold all the accessories in. But the bag does fit the meter very nicely. You can slip this inside of your toolkit, which is kind of nice. It takes up a lot less room, and then you can just have your accessories somewhere else. Now, as far as the accessories that it does come with, you are going to have your one-to-one. -one. This is most likely going to be used for your uh, signal generator output right there. That's for your waveforms. I'll show you that here in just a minute. Now, it does come with only one O-scope lead. Now, the cool thing about the Gocha Fix, I just discovered this. On your one and only O-scope uh, lead, you do have a switch. It goes from times 10 to times 1. So, you really only just need this one. So, that's pretty cool. That's very unique. I like that feature. Okay, for the rest of the accessories, you're going to have your standard red and black leads. Those are going to hook, in your, hook into your red and black ports or over here for your amperage checks. It also comes with a charging cable slash computer hookup cable. That's if you save your images with the save button. It also comes with your user manual. It comes with some marking sleeves. Now, for the first software feature we're going to show you, I have it in the DMM mode here. That's just your standard multimeter. The Gocha Fix model here, it has auto range, but it's not going to be an auto detect as the Finerci has. But you can cycle through DC, AC, Hertz, duty cycle. With this button here, you can cycle through the capacitance, resistance, and diode. This button here is going to switch it over for your amperages. Now you'll have to swap, swap your meter leads over to the amp side if you're going to use that. Of course, this button here is going to put it into the signal generator. I'll show you that here in a few minutes. Also on the Gocha Fix, you're going to have buttons to switch between channel 1 here and channel 2. You have your four-way directional pad with your enter button. Utility, which this is just going to be features as far as the beep, the backlighting, and the auto power off feature. You have your trigger button there to cycle through your trigger features. Also, you have a menu button, which does different things depending on which feature of the meter you're using. You have your auto button to cycle between auto and manual modes for each function of this meter. On the side, you have your connection for your charging or your computer hookup to view your saved waveforms. And of course, up top, you have your channel 1, your channel 2, and your gen out for your waveforms. That's just a quick overview of the Gocha Fix. I won't spend any more time on the multimeter function. I believe that most of you watching this video probably knows how to use a multimeter, but if not, watch this video here. I go over the full use of a regular digital multimeter. All right, something I did want to point out between the two meters, even though the Gocha Fix is a slightly larger profile as far as the body, the screens are relatively about the same size. Okay, so over here on the Finerci, I'm pumping out a 50,000 uh, hertz or 50 megahertz, I'm sorry, 50 kilohertz sine wave over to the 
Gocha Fix, and you can see it's pretty, it's picking it up. It's pretty clear. It's a very even waveform. The resolution is very nice on it. Now, some of the features of the Gocha Fix, you can hit the channel one button. It's going to bring up all your options down here. We'll hit that again. Go to more options. Now, if you hit the position button, you can turn that off and on. If you turn the position off, then you're not going to be able to move the waveform up and down. But what you can do with these directional buttons down here is make the signal smaller and larger, which is increasing your voltage on the waveform. That way, if you need to zoom in, zoom out, you can see it different ways. You can also change the time by hitting the left and right button. So that's very handy there. You can kind of spread out your waveform. And of course, to go back in, you have your one-to-one, -one, your DC coupling. You have your BW limit, which is on for us right now. Go to the more options again. Now we're gonna turn our position back on with the hit F2 key. Uh, you can do a vertical reset. I wish it would stay on a little bit longer there. Okay, so you can do a vertical reset and it pushes it back up to the original position. Horizontal reset will move it left and right back to the default position. And again, we put our position on so we can move our waveform. You have to hit the directional button down here and it will move your waveform. And let's try that again. Okay, position's on and we should be able to move our waveform up and down. So we're moving it down right now. Get it back to the center of the screen. So overall, the feel of these buttons, they do have a long press, so you do have to push them pretty hard in, but that's good because you might not automatically hit things. On the Finerci, you can accidentally, I mean, hit buttons and change your waveform when you don't mean to. So the long press on the Gocha Fix is kind of nice because you definitely have to force the button, which makes it intentional. Now, as I said, this particular Gocha Fix right here has a 80 megahertz. What we'll do right now is I'll swap over and I'll show you the Finerci's pickup. So I will get out of the O scope. I'm going to put it over to the signal gen, which means I need to switch ports here. Now I'm going to be pumping out, as you can see right there, the output on the waveform. And then over on my Finerci, I'll go ahead and put it into O scope mode, which is the long press and the select button. I'm going to flip it over to port one here. All right, I'm using all one to one probes at the moment. You could switch over to 10 to one if you need more attenuation on your signal. So I'm pushing out a sine wave here. It looks like it's about 1790 kilohertz over here on the Finerci. I've got an auto mode X1 for the probe, two volts, channel one. You can see the signal there. Now the resolution on the Finerci is not quite as good as the Gocha Fix. You do have a little bit of flicker there, but that's okay. You can still see the waveform just fine for analyzing it, but I am pushing out that sine wave and picking it up on the Finerci. Now the Finerci does have 13 waveforms. I'll show you that here in just a second as I did on the original Finerci video, but the Gocha Fix, I believe, has four, and we'll go through those here in just a second as well. Okay, as promised, here are the different waveforms on the Gocha Fix. So just hit the F1 button. So you have a square wave, and you can see over here in the Finerci, it picks up, changes it to the square wave. You have the ramp up style wave there, and you can see the ramp up over on the Finerci. It's picking that up, and then back to the sine wave. So you have the sine, the square, and the ramp. So very basic on the output generation of the waveforms on the Gocha Fix. I'll real quick switch back over go back into the oscope mode we'll go back into the signal generator one thing i do notice is it's easier to plug in on the gocha fix these are a little bit more recessed so you have to kind of push them in push them down that's something that finerci could improve on there. okay so now we're going to swap back to the signal generator you can see i have my sine wave on that but as far as a Finerci, you're gonna have a ton more. I think there's 13. Now, I don't think I would ever use all 13, but if you're doing many different circuit types, you may have to use those. You can see the Gocha Fix is picking up that live full wave, has a step wave. It's going to have the reverse step wave. You can see it's kind of a reverse wave. Index up, index decrease, which is like index down. You can see the waveforms on a down slope over on that side. There you have your direct current, your multi-audio, which is gonna be a uh, kind of a wacky looking waveform like that. Then you have your uh, sync pulse and your linear wave. So if you're looking for a lot more, then you might want to go with that one. But again, if all you're looking for is a typical common sine wave, uh, the Gocha Fix will do the job as well. Now you can change the voltage amplitude right there, up and down, uh, peak to peak voltage. Um, you can change your frequency with that. Now it's a direct, 
input with the directional key so you can change your frequency out on the sine wave and then again f1 changes your type between the sine the square and the ramp okay just like on the finerci you do have a save button right here if you were to hit that you can see that it is saving your wave right there now you can save quite a few of these and then plug into the computer with your computer slash charging cable right there. You plug that in, plugs into the computer, and then you can view your waveforms on the big screen. You can analyze those a little bit closer in detail, zoom in, zoom out, whatever you need to do. Another thing is battery life. They both seem to run about the same. You can see I got about a half of a battery. The Finerci is in red, but I didn't charge either one of these fully up. They do seem to last quite a while. I've never run into a, an instance where the battery did run out on either one. So battery life on both are really good. Good. Overall, these two meters, the Gochafix and the Finerci, are very, very similar in function. It's really just going to depend on whether you want a larger profile meter or smaller. Okay, and many of you are probably wondering the price difference on these. Now, the Finerci overall is going to be a little bit cheaper. Uh, you can get that one on Amazon, usually around $100, but the larger more detailed it goes for about 169 but today folks if you use my exclusive uh, coupon code i will link it down in the description it's electric 25 make sure when you check out and i'll put the link for the amazon purchase in the description as well but make sure you add that promo code of electric 25 exclusive electrical u code that will save you roughly about 25 dollars off and also amazon usually throws coupons in so just check it out comparably not much of a price difference. This meter is a little bit higher in grade. I think I've covered just about all of the basic features. Again, I didn't go into the three hour video I could have, just going over every single feature of the Gocha Fix. It's just slam packed. Check that out, give it a try, and let me know in those comments how, uh, if you've used the Gocha Fix or the Finerci, just let me know which one you prefer better and which one you've had better luck with. And folks, if you enjoyed today's video, Click on this subscribe button right here. It does something to the algorithm. It allows us to share this video with many, many more people. Also, check out our next video right here.